So let us discuss about the electric potential at a particular point due to a charge. Suppose that we have a point O and let Q be a charge placed at the point O. Let there be a point P, let's say at a distance, at a distance R from the point O. We need to find the electric potential produced by this charge at the point P. For that, let us consider a point on the right of the right of the P, like some point in here, let's say that as A, and also we have a infinity that is at a large distance. There is, a, there is infinity. We have this distance is equal to r, that is the distance from O to P, we have r. Let us take the distance from O to A be some x. Let Here A is only a point, A is a point between infinity and the point P, anywhere between P and infinity. Suppose there is a point B very close to A, such that A and B are very close, let that point B, that distance be A, B, 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 X. Clear. Let Q0 be a charge that is brought from infinity to the point B. Now let's take this charge Q0 is at A. Now the electric potential at the point B means the work done, it is the work done to bring a unit positive charge, not this Q0, but a one coulomb of charge from infinity to that point. So the work done to bring a unit positive charge from infinity to a point that is in here it is P is called the electric po electrostatic potential at the point P or simply electric potential at the point P. So First, we have to find the work done to bring this Q0 from infinity to the point P. So, let the force, the force due to Q on the charge, charge Q0 at A equal to let's say that equal to f and f is equal to we have see these two charges separated by a distance x so the force will be electrostatic force or the coulomb's force clear we have coulomb's force is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q times q0 divided by the distance between these two charges is x squared Let's call that as equation number one. Also, the direction of the force will be repulsive, that is, away from the charge Q, because these two are positive charges. So, the direction of force will be in this direction. And we are moving the charge from infinity to the point P, which means the charge is moving from A to B. So, the direction is towards the left. So, the work done. The work done, work done DW, work done is actually the work done to move this charge Q0 from A to B against this electrostatic force. Okay, so work is equal to by definition F dot dx. Clearly, you can see that F and dx are, e, are in the opposite direction, so theta will be zero in the 180. So, F dx cos 180, angle between force and displacement is equal to 180. But you know cos 180 equal to minus 1, so the value will be minus F dx. So, that is the work done. Let's call that as equation number 2. We have cos 180, the value of cos 180 equal to minus 1. Clear. And you can substitute the value of force from the equation 1. So, dw is equal to minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q 
q0 divided by x square into vx. Okay, let's call that as equation number 3. So, in order to find the total work, the, the variable is x and we have to take the limit from infinity to the r. Because we are bringing the charge from infinity to the point p, that is infinity to the distance r. So, the total work, therefore, total work w will be integral of this one minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q q 0 divided by x square dx and the limit should be infinity to r clear now we have to integrate this let me erase this so total work w will be you can take this minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q q 0 etc outside since it is a constant minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q q 0 integral infinity to r x 1 by x square dx so this will be work is equal to minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q into q0 infinity to r this can be written as x raised to minus 2 dx now if you integrate this you will get minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q into q0 the integral of this will be x raised to minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1 we have that relation integral x raised to n equal to x raised to n plus 1 integral x raised to n dx will be x raised to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 okay i'm just substitute i'm just using this value in here so now the lower limit is infinity the upper limit is r so simplifying you will get minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q into q0 this will be x raised to minus 1 by minus 1 infinity to r therefore work w will be minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q into q0 you can take this minus 1 outside minus 1 and x raised to minus 1 can be written as 1 by x infinity to r you can cancel this minus 1 and this minus 1 so that this value becomes positive 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q into q 0 now you have to put the upper limit first 1 by r minus 1 by the lower limit but you know 1 by infinity equal to 0 so the final value the work done will be w is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q into q 0 divided by r let's call that as equation number 3 so this is the work done to bring q0 from infinity to point p so what is the potential at the point p potential means we write potential as electrostatic potential as v will be work done divided by the charge q0 because we have to find it for one coulomb this is the work done for bringing q0 charge so for one coulomb it will be work done by q0 so 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q q0 divided by r by q0 you can cancel this q0 and q0 so the potential expression for potential will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q divided by r clear this is the expression for potential clearly you can see that potential is inversely proportional to the distance as we move away from the charge the potential decreases clear